For over a millennium, the Bajor people of Southeast Asia have lived an existence intertwined with the ocean. As nomadic seafarers, they have roamed the waters between the Philippines, Malaysia, and Indonesia in a life aquatic, living in houseboats, harvesting the sea, and spending up to 60% of their working day underwater. Their abilities as free divers are legendary. Bajor individuals can plunge up to 70 meters, 230 feet, aided only by weights and wooden goggles to hunt for fish. They remain submerged for astounding periods, with some claiming dives over 13 minutes long. This phenomenal tolerance for extended breath holding and deep diving defies the limits of most humans. Now, a groundbreaking study published in Cell has uncovered the genetic basis behind the Bajo's superhuman marine prowess, an evolutionary adaptation placing them as the first known aquatic humans. The sea nomad gene, a genetic variant found primarily in certain indigenous populations living along the coastal regions of Southeast Asia, has been the subject of growing scientific interest due to its remarkable impact on swimming abilities. These communities, often referred to as sea nomads, have long been known for their exceptional aquatic skills, which have been essential for their traditional way of life, including fishing, foraging, and maritime trade. Recent genetic studies have revealed that the sea nomad gene is associated with a number of physiological adaptations that enhance underwater performance. One key finding is the gene's influence on spleen size, a crucial factor in the body's ability to tolerate hypoxia, or low oxygen conditions, during extended dive times. Individuals with the sea nomad gene have been shown to have significantly larger spleens, which can store and rapidly release oxygenated red blood cells, effectively improving their oxygen-carrying capacity and underwater endurance. These genetic adaptations have their roots in the long history of sea nomadic cultures in the region. As these populations have lived a predominantly maritime lifestyle for generations, the sea nomad gene has been naturally selected and passed down, conferring tangible advantages in their aquatic environments. The gene's effects extend beyond spleen size, with studies also indicating improved lung capacity, increased muscle myoglobin content, and enhanced tolerance to the physiological stresses of diving, all of which contribute to the exceptional swimming and diving abilities observed super spleens for the sea that key lies in the massively enlarged spleens found in the Bajor. On average, their spleens are 50% larger than those of neighboring non-diving populations. The spleen contains a reservoir of oxygenated red blood cells that can be pumped into the body's circulatory system during periods of low oxygen. The huge spleens of the Bajor likely allow them to increase their oxygen supplies during long dives, explains Melissa Ilado of Cambridge University, a lead researcher on the study. This adaptation gets around the constraints of human lung capacity to prolong incredible feats of underwater breath holding. The Bajor achieved this anatomical enhancement through a genetic mutation in the PD-10 gene, which appears to interact with the thyroid hormone system to regulate spleen size. When the researchers engineered mice to lack thyroid hormones, their spleens shrank drastically in size, an effect reversed by hormone treatment. This indicates the Bajo's C nomad gene tweaks the thyroid pathway to supersize their oxygen storage banks. It's a complete evolutionary repurposing of the human body never seen before, notes Elado. More than a diving mutation, while the PD-10 mutation directly impacts spleen size and diving ability, the researchers suspect additional adaptations granted by the C nomad gene may exist. The Bajor also possess incredible underwater vision, evidenced by their ability to discern the narrowest fissures and tiny prey at great depths with limited visibility. It's conceivable their visual acuity has also been shaped by this genetic adaptation, says Ilada. The full extent of the aquatic human mutation remains an open question. Indeed, Genetic analysis revealed the PD-10 variant originated at least 59,000 years ago in the ancestral Bajor population, long before their modern maritime lifestyle. 
The researchers hypothesized the mutation could have conveyed survival advantages even to the earliest sea migrants who populated the Southeast Asian islands by crossing ancient ocean corridors during periods of low sea levels. The ocean's last nomads, whatever additional enhancements it provides, the sea nomad gene appears inextricably tied to the identity and livelihoods of the Bijor as the last remaining seagoing nomads of the region. Sadly, their unique way of life is increasingly threatened. As stateless people, the Bijor struggle to secure citizenship rights and access to social services. More critically, their marine territories and food sources have been decimated by modern commercial overfishing activities, poverty, and the environmental depredations of coastal development. With their culture and survival in peril, the Bajor may only exist as a memory of the seas within a few generations. And the aquatic human adaptation they evolved over thousands of years could vanish along with them. This genetic adaptation is an incredible example of human evolution in action, concludes Elodo Somboli. But the study of the Bajor also speaks to our collective human identity, reminding us all of our deep historical roots as ocean voyagers on this blue planet.